Hello there, everybody. Thank you for stopping by. Just really quickly before we get going with the actual forecast, I do have a new contest that I would like to announce, and that starts now and goes through to the end of the 25th of June, 2017. Um, what you, the prize for this contest is one free introductory Reiki package. And if you look on my website, what you'll see that is, is actually three Reiki sessions that you will be winning for free if you win this contest. I will have a drawing at the end. Somebody who is impartial will choose a name. Um, out of, of all the names of the entries. So to enter this contest, all you have to do is find out what the word Reiki translates to in English. So what does Reiki actually mean when we say it in English? And send me that information in an email at amista333 at yahoo.com. On to your forecasts. Hello there Capricorn. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of June 19th through the 25th. What we have coming up for you Capricorn is the Nine of Swords showing up in reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse is just telling me that Capricorns. There was something that was giving you a lot of distress or anxiety and Whatever that is, when the Nine of Swords shows up in reverse, something has happened with that situation. Either something's improved in the situation so that itself, so that it's not stressing you out as much, or you have done your own healing, either um, mental and emotional or spiritual level healing, so that whatever that was that was bothering you before is no longer um, getting to you. So really good card to see come in. Letting go of some stress is always a good thing. On Tuesday, Capricorn, you have the Magician in reverse, and the word that I'm hearing as I pick this card up for you guys is Trickster. So just beware. Make sure if you're signing any contracts, if you're making any agreements, that you've already looked at all the fine print and made sure you know the whole deal about how everything will be um, taken care of. Okay, so the Trickster... This doesn't have to be anything even that big of a level, but it is kind of a heads up to pay attention. But this can be something as little as, you know, the neighborhood kid pulling a little prank or, um, you know, something as big as uh, somebody trying to trick grandma out of her 401k. So just keep your eyes open, you know, make sure that you're not doing anything that you're going to have repercussions that you weren't expecting later on. Make sure you're reading fine print and, and just checking and double checking anything before you commit yourself to anything with anyone on Tuesday. On Wednesday, what we have coming up here is the moon. And the moon is just telling me that there is some kind of situation on Wednesday that you are realizing is fishy, something's not right. And um, even as you're realizing this, you know that there's more here than meets the eye, but you're still having a hard time actually putting your fingers on, okay, well, what is it that's fishy about this? Why doesn't this all add up? What's really going on? You're having a hard time finding that information, even though you know something's up on Wednesday. On Thursday, King of Clubs showing up. King of Clubs, King of Clubs. Capricorn, this is somebody that you are interacting with on Thursday. Excuse me while I just double-checked what I was feeling there. <laughs> so someone you're interacting with on Thursday, this is someone who thinks outside the box, very creative. They may have created their own niche whenever it comes to work, and they're on top of it. Um, but they are very good at whatever it is that they do because they think outside the box. They don't let what society tells us limit them in their thinking. Okay, and so when you're interacting with this person on Thursday, I feel that you're going to be a little bit challenged by the way that they think Capricorn. You're going to be feeling like... Um, this person should not be in a position of leadership. They're way off base. They want to do things that are inappropriate. Um, I feel like that's going to kind of be your reaction to them. Um, and I really kind of feel like um, they really are not worried about your reaction to them. They know what they need to do. I'm kind of getting like this, I hate to say it, but I'm kind of getting this Donald Trumpish energy here of, 
you know, I'm going to do what I need to do and it doesn't really matter what you think uh, because that's not going to stop me type of thing. I don't think, um, I think that my words are a little too strong when I say it doesn't matter what you think. I think what you think is important to them, but at the same time that it's important and they would like to have you on their side also if you're not with them, um, they're not going to let that become an obstacle to them getting whatever it is that they are working towards. Okay, so somebody like that that you're interacting with on Thursday, Friday, Capricorns, you have the Seven of Cups showing up. Seven of Cups is just telling me that Friday you have lots of choices, lots of options, lots of things that you could do. This feels very immediate to me. Usually this is the Daydreamers card and it talks about daydreaming, about what if things were different. That's not the sense that I'm getting on this card for you guys on Friday. What I'm feeling like is, you know, you have lots of choices, you have lots of options, uh, lots of things that you could be doing with your time. So I'm not sure if a lot of you like have the day off and you're trying to figure out what you're going to do with your day off or if there's something else going on but um, definitely lots of options open to you on Friday. On Saturday Capricorn three of coins is showing up in reverse which just tells me that there was something that you were going to be collaborating with somebody else on and um uh, what I'm hearing is they're not going to be able to make it. They're not going to be able to hold up their end of the deal. So you may have to reschedule or it may be that you have to carry the full load um, for you know what you were planning to do and also what they were planning to do. So one or the other, but the collaboration itself is not happening on Saturday, Capricorn. Now looking at Sunday, what you guys have showing up here is the Emperor. So I am feeling Capricorn like the Emperor is somebody that you are interacting with on Sunday. And this is somebody who is in a position of leadership. Excuse me. Maybe I need to sneeze. Maybe I don't. <laughs> Trying to be on that mute button. Okay, so anyway, the Emperor is somebody who is in a position of leadership, is in a position of authority, even if it's just that they're in a position of leadership in the family um, still. And I feel like they have been, well, no, I feel like they are in the process of um, getting things more organized, doing things in a more logical way, making things make sense in their own lives. And I feel like that is going to have some kind of impact on you on Sunday that you're going to be um, realizing that things are a little bit different about your interactions with this person. You know, maybe they're trying to get into a, a better work schedule, you know, a more solid work schedule instead of something kind of flim flammy. And so, you know, you're not going to be able to talk to them about non-work stuff during working hours or something like that. I mean, it's just an example. But there's something that they're trying to get straightened up and in order and handle in a logical um, and sensible manner. And somehow that is going to be impacting you. It's going to impact your interactions with them. Okay? So that is your week, Capricorn. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. I hope to see some of you here this week for Reiki sessions, some of you here this week for readings, and the rest of you I will see back here on the next video. Peace out.